Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am I am Richard. This is my channel, and I just had what would be called a filmmaking moment, which uh, means, of course, that uh, I had something that, you know, I had a problem in filmmaking and making videos for YouTube, and I solved that problem. So this is a great thing for me to share with you. Uh, before I go any further, it is raining. I don't think you can hear that, but I, I do. Uh, I I do for every thousand subscribers. I have six channels. I have maybe a total of um, 7,500 subscribers. For every channel, I do do purchase one of these bracelets from the company 4Ocean. 4Ocean pulls a pound of trash out of the ocean every time I do that. Be so kind as comment, like, and subscribe if you're doing your part for a better world. Now, on to my film moment. Um, obviously, I filmed this digitally, and I use these, uh, these SDXC cards. You know, this is a Speed 100, you know, SanDisk. This is a very reliable brand. And I have a few of them, and of course, one of them just got lost. I had already pulled the uh, information off of it so that it is was not useful to me any longer. But, you know, I was going to put it back in the camera, and I know maybe, ooh, hit the table. Uh, maybe one of my cats jumped on it and flicked it off the table and it's on the floor somewhere and I can't find it. Or maybe I just misplaced it and it's it's on the table somewhere in my workroom. It could be anywhere. We don't know. But it's gone. But the thing is, of course, I had two of these sitting around because uh, I always have a spare. You know, and that's one of those things about these film moments. It's like my film camera, the one I'm working on, is a Canon 60D, okay, and I got the uh, extended battery pack that uses AA batteries, and what's in this is, is the Eneloop uh, high-quality battery, all right, and behind that camera there is actually two um, battery chargers who are charging the next set of batteries for me to put in this camera. So if this camera were to stop working right now because of low battery, I would be able to pop the tray out, put all of the uh, batteries down, put in a fresh set, and be able to go right back to filming. So I also have somewhere in this room, uh, yes, there it is. If I could dig it out here. my Canon 90D, which was purchased for me by a, um, um, uh, admirer who had a, a real obsession with my uh, manhood, really wanted to see my manhood, although did not get to, um, you know, again, I said very simply, you want to see it? Get me Stormy Daniels and and and, uh, and a Trump mask and then you know, okay, you could get get full shots of it, but I'm banging Stormy Daniels wearing a Trump mask. That didn't happen. So, but he did buy me this, which was a very nice gift, and I have actually never pulled it out of the box. But it is my backup camera. I probably should pull it out of the box, set it up, and definitely have it ready in case. And I should have, you know, one camera for filming and one camera for taking pictures on the go. But I've never gotten that because I don't take a lot of pictures on the go at this point. And I know I should because I have a blog where I take pictures. <clears throat> but I don't do anything, so having that camera and, and, you know, my phone is just as good. But, yeah, you always have that backup. In fact, right now, if I were to activate that camera, I would need to make sure I had uh, six more batteries always charged, six more double A's, and in a bag with the camera that I'm taking with me to places, which would probably be the cheaper of the two, the 60D. You know, I would have to make sure they both have functional lenses and both have two SD cards so that uh, I could uh, make sure that no matter what happens I have that backup. And again, because I'm only doing studio filming right now, I don't have that backup going, and that's a choice I made, all right? But it is a choice I get to make. 
And just, you know, from a standpoint, from a functional standpoint, this is filmmaking, is you always have to have that backup. You always have to be ready to, you know, deal with something. And I mean, I know that there's some people that can't afford the backup. They're, they're just running off their phone. Yeah, well, if you're running off your phone, if you're taking video off your phone, what's probably going to happen if your phone goes down is you're going to get somebody else with a phone. Okay, you're probably not the only person there. And if you're going somewhere like a cave or a, um, you know, you're, you're doing some sort of urban exploring and filming with your phone, you should have a backup phone. And in fact, there are places where you carry a backup old phone that people can steal. Okay? And there are even places where you carry a backup wallet. So somebody says, give me your phone, give me your wallet, you hand them your backup phone and you hand them your backup wallet, and then they leave you alone. So that's just one of those things that you do. And it's very, um, very good to do, you know. So yeah, that, that's my, my filmmaking moment for the day. Uh, have that backup. You can see this one's still in its box. It's harder to lose when it's in its box. I know where I put it, which is right over there with a bunch of other film-related things. And it's just, you know, I designed my system to crank out video. I know I haven't been doing that lately, and in fact, what I... What I would really like to do is I'd like to, to film, film and film and film and film and film for one channel until I fill up one of these 64 gigabyte cards and then start just rendering and rendering and rendering. But then to do that, you know, I have to basically have two cards, one for, one for the channel I'm working on and one for the channel I have running. So it's like, yeah, it would be great if you could be like, all right, let's just really stack that out and just burn through it. But it would also be great, you know, if I could have that kind of content. So yeah, there's there's a lot of channels where, you know, of my six channels, like there's the the Fat Man Richard's Fat Man Getting Fit, which I know a lot of you do want me to get back to. That is gonna require me taking this camera out of this room. So I will definitely have to have my 90D uh, activated. And then, you know, another tripod, which I do have several. And then I'm going to go around, okay, you know, all right, this is what we're doing. All right, this is what we're, And I'm filming in my garage and all those sorts of things. So, yeah, you know, backups. Have a backup. Have a backup plan if things go, go down. If you're filming something and you've got to get it done now, you need to have that backup. But that's just my advice for the day. If you have any filmmaking advice, I would love to hear it down in the comments below. I'm Richard. Roar! It would be unbearable if you didn't comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, don't eat my porridge.